Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, if you're new to my channel then welcome. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you my bullet journal setup for the month of June. But first I'm sure you might be wondering where I've been virtually these last few months. Um, let's just say it's complicated and probably a whole nother video but you may be waiting a while for that. So if you've been following my channel, you'll remember that my last bullet journal video would be my September 2019 bullet journal setup, uh, where I did the Firefly theme. Um, but I'm sure you're wondering if I kept my bullet journaling up even though I wasn't posting them on YouTube. And yes, I did. Honestly, I really couldn't imagine my life without bullet journaling now. Uh, so I thought I'd just show you an overview of some of my spreads I've created for each month since September. Um, these are just some of the photos I took of them before I filled them in every month. Some of them were my own designs and some of them I recreated from other bullet journal spreads that I'd seen. So after September we have October and for this I decided to recreate Amanda Rachelie's autumn bullet journal spread incorporating some of my favourite quotes into it, especially I love this quote that I drew on the front page and I'm just going to read it now. It says, if you feel like you're losing everything, remember that trees lose their leaves every year and they still stand tall and wait for better days to come. And I just really like that quote because I can really relate to it. So moving on to November, I came up with the idea for a hot chocolate theme. I figured it's usually colder weather in November and I love a good hot chocolate to warm me up so it was perfect. Now for my December bullet journal this year I, or should I say last year, I took different threads from various bullet journals that I'd seen um, on YouTube and on Pinterest and sites and also used some of my own ideas too. I think my favourite spread is probably the advent calendar that I created where I cut up post-it notes into smaller squares and under each one I wrote either a little message like you're beautiful or a task like give someone a compliment and things like that. Um, I didn't have a chocolate advent calendar for Christmas so this was a really nice alternative. Now when it came to January and the new year I decided to recreate Amanda H. Lee's New Year setup and I really thought about what I wanted to achieve this year and what I wanted to focus on, such as improving my YouTube channel. And for January, I came up with the idea of a sunrise and sunset theme. I really like the fact that I could use so many different colours with this theme to create hopefully somewhat realistic scenes of sunrises and sunsets. So moving on to February, which of course is the month of Valentine's Day. So of course I did a drum roll please Runescape theme. Not what you thought I was gonna say, right? Not a Valentine's theme this year. I really wanted to play around with the features of the game and create a bullet journal theme out of it because I love old school Runescape. I think my favourite part is the map of Lumbridge I drew behind my monthly calendar. It took forever, but it was so worth it. So the next month we come to is March, and for this I chose to do a Friends TV theme. I was in a phase recently of re-watching episodes of Friends, and I thought it would make a perfect bullet journal spread. So I included habit tracker name badges, Rachel's trifle mood tracker and of course who could forget good old chick and duck on the front cover. Well guys we are nearly there. The next month is April and since my birthday is in April I thought it was fitting to do a birthday theme. So as you can see these are some of the spreads I created for April and of course I did it in my favourite colour which is yellow. And then we come to May. For this month, I really loved Amanda H. Lee's bullet journal setup for April that I decided to recreate it for my May setup. 
I love spending time drawing all the details of each spread and I still added in some of my own spreads such as my YouTube video ideas page and my gratitude log. This was also the first time I experimented with cutting my pages in half for my weekly spread but it works great. It just brings some fun to my bullet journal and I will definitely use that technique again. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for my June 2020 bullet journal setup. I wasn't sure if it was a bit premature to be doing a summer theme, but I couldn't wait. Which reminds me, if you haven't already seen my video, Summer Song, which is an original song I wrote, then please go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. So let's finally take a look at this month's spread. So this is my June bullet journal setup for 2020. I've decided to go with a summer theme. Like I said, I didn't know if it was a bit too early to be thinking about summer, but to be honest, all I've been thinking about since last summer is when this summer's going to come. I've just been so excited to have that really hot weather, which we have had some quite warm days recently. Not quite enough to be out in my shorts and t-shirt, which is what I've longed for. Not to be able to go out in a coat. Oh, isn't that just a dream? But yeah, so I went with a summer theme this time and I saw this picture online that someone had drawn in their bullet journal and I really liked it so I just decided to recreate it in my bullet journal and it just says hello summer and then I've drawn some sunglasses with a beach scene in the background and I thought that looks so lush. I mean who wouldn't want to be there right now? And then on the page next to it I've just written the word June and coloured it in my favourite colour yellow and then just drawn some simple summery doodles, some foods and some fruits that remind me of summer. So yeah, keeping it nice and simple for the cover page. Moving on to the next page, we have the monthly calendar. So if you've seen my previous bullet journals, you'll know I like to spread my monthly calendar over two pages of my bullet journal, but I've realized that actually I'm not really writing that much in it. It's more just to kind of see what the month looks like as an overview. So I decided to make it into one page. So I think each box is three by three instead of six by six now. And then I've just drawn a little beach scene underneath it. And then on the page next to it, in hindsight, I'm not sure why I've made a summer bucket list page when at the moment pretty much the whole world's in lockdown and we're not really going to be able to do the stuff we'd want to do during summer. But yeah, maybe I'll make it into like a new things I want to try in quarantine bucket list or things I want to do for the summer once we're out of quarantine, hopefully in time for summer. So this next page is my mood tracker and my habit tracker. Again, I spread this out over two pages. I did a similar thing last month and I really liked it. So I decided to do it again for this month. So I've just kind of drawn a beach scene along the bottom half of the two pages. I've kind of drawn things you'd see at a beach. So like a deck chair, picnic blanket, a sun umbrella, a beach ball in the water, and of course the obligatory shark fin in the water. And then I eventually draw a little key above, just so you can colour in each item according to your mood. And then above I've done my habit trackers. I was thinking of maybe drawing little boats and putting the calendars into boats, but then I realised there wasn't really much room and it just looked really messy, so I just went simple and kept them as calendars. I really wish there was an easier way to write out all the numbers for each calendar because it takes ages and it's really fiddly and I get so impatient. I've seen some people use stamps and things but for me they have to be exactly inside the square. If the stamp's bigger than the squares it would just annoy me. So I feel like I'm gonna just have to live with it. So I'm just colouring in the background now all the parts of the mood tracker that I'm not going to colour in for my mood just so it looks a bit more realistic. Colouring in the sand, maybe bits of the deck chair so that they stand out. And I drew a sandcastle. That part's not part of the mood tracker but I thought you can't go to the beach and not make a sandcastle, right?
So this next page, the first time I used this page was in my last month's bullet journal spread and I liked it so much that I bought it back again and that is a playlist. So this is my summer playlist for 2020 and as I was drawing this out I was trying to think of like hmm, what songs would I put on my summer playlist and I kind of thought probably pretty much every Sabrina Carpenter song out there because if you know me you know I'm obsessed with Sabrina Carpenter and also maybe Steps Summer of Love not just because it has the word summer in it but it's just a great dance song but that's probably what I've had on my playlist let me know in the comments down below what you'd put on your summer playlist and then on the page next to it I've included my YouTube videos idea page which I've brought into more recent bullet journals of mine as I've been focusing more on my YouTube channel it's kind of like to keep my calendar organized like my YouTube calendar so I can plan what kind of videos I'm going to do so if it will be a bullet journal video or a cover video and then I can kind of see what I need for each video when I'm going to film it who's going to be in it and stuff like that so it's really helpful for me to see it as an overview so moving on to this next page I've done my gratitude log so for this I just write today I am thankful for and then each day of the month I write down something that I'm thankful for kind of self-explanatory but even if I'm feeling like the whole world's falling apart, it just makes me kind of remember and be grateful for something. No matter how small, even if it's just like, I'm thankful for a friend or I'm thankful for chocolate or something like that. Pretty much every day. <laughs> um, so the page next to it, I've drawn this quote out. I was just searching up summary quotes online and I found this and I really love this quote. So I've drawn it out. I've kind of drawn the sun in the background and then I wrote, keep your face always towards the sun and the shadows will fall behind you. And I just love that quote. So this is the first weekly spread of my June bullet journal. And I've gone back to more of a simple layout for me anyway. This is kind of how I started my bullet journal weekly spreads. And I found myself going back to it recently just because I really like the layout of it. So I've done four boxes at the top, three at the bottom for each day and then just a quote next to it which says just relax and unwind which I thought was perfect for summer. And then in each box I can put like a task I have to do for that day. So like today do the washing or today don't forget to text this person or an event for example if I've got a doctor's appointment or something. So guys, that's my June bullet journal set up for 2020. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment down below what bullet journal themes you'd like to see me make. And I'm open to suggestions. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next video.